Imagine you're on a pub crawl with your friends, you're having a wonderful time. What is the last thing you think could happen? Alien robots invade in the town! Well, that's the last thing I would think could happen, but no. Never mind. Okay. Before I begin, let me just say I will not be spoiling anything about the world's end, so don't worry, I'm not going to be giving away any plot details or say if anyone's going to die or what the big twist is. I'm not going to give away anything like that. Okay. What I will tell you is that the acting is great, the action is phenomenal, the chemistry between Nick Frost and Simon Pegg is fantastic because if you think about it, in Shaun of the Dead and in Hot Fuzz, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost played certain types of characters. Simon Pegg was, oh, he always played this, this sensible guy. And Nick Frost played this not-so-sensible guy. And, well, it, it, they, they, all, they, they kind of sort of stuck with those kind of characters in the last two films. But in this film, the roles are reversed. Uh, in this film, Simon Pegg is this clumsy, slightly wild guy. And Nick Frost, he's this sensible, uh, business-like guy. He's trying to sort of leave his wild days behind him and just be a, just be a, a, a proper gentleman. Which doesn't really last, but you know, no spoilers. Okay, what I will say about this film that makes it different to the other two films is that in The World's End, it just, everything looks bigger. It, you know, they, they've kind of, they've, it just, it, everything just feels bigger in this one. The, the fight scenes, I think that out of the three films, the fight scenes in The World's End, uh, the fight scenes, they, they, these are just the best, they really are, because they're so crazy, so over the top, and they were over the top in the previous two films, but in this one, I think they, they did the fight scenes perfectly in this one, because there's a moment where Nick Frost has a guy way over, has a bad guy over his head, and he's flipping him around, and he's turning him over, and he body slams him to the ground, and it's just, it was just, Wildly over the top, and it was just fantastic. It was almost like because, well, it's almost like Nick Frost and Simon Pegg and these other guys that they're with. It's like they're the um, <laughs> like that they're, they're the, the slightly alcoholic Power Rangers. <laughs> it was just fantastic. I mean, it was it, the fight scenes were. I, they grabbed my attention and they made sure I paid attention because you could not be bored in this film. It is impossible for you to be bored in this film. The pacing of this film is great because for the first hour it feels like, uh, just like, a, like watching a film about everyday life, you could say. And then it just suddenly turns completely crazy. Completely crazy. But the only thing that I will say about this film that isn't so good and again, no spoilers, is the last 10 minutes, because for me, the last 10 minutes didn't feel like they belonged in this film. It, it felt like it was taken from a, a different film. Because, if you think about it, this film, it's light-hearted, it's got great comedy, it's got wonderful action, and then suddenly the last 10 minutes turn bleak and really depressing and kind of dark. I don't know, I mean, I'm, I, a lot of people are probably going to disagree with me on this, but for me, I just think that, I don't know, I, if, I was, if I was going to finish this film, I wouldn't have done it that way. I think it's something that the last ten minutes are not the best. But, I will say that this film is still a great film, because I still, you know, I, I still enjoy this film, it, it, it grabbed my attention the entire time, the only thing I don't really like about this film is the last 10 minutes, but that's it. Everything else about The World's End is fantastic. It, I would definitely recommend you go see it, because, like I said, if you liked Hot Fuzz and you like Shaun of the Dead, you will love The World's End. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.